Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. I'm excited to be sharing with you a new block that I just developed called Tommy Turkey. And this one is actually much easier to, to draw than what it looks like. So uh, enjoy getting introduced to both using the PolyDraw tools and some of the applique shapes as you create this block. And as a bonus, this one would be easy to piece using a Dresden ruler. Okay, I'm going to start by selecting New Project. And I am going to label this one Thanksgiving and select OK. And I'm going to design a block from scratch. And I will select a new block, pieced and applique, and then poly and applique. And so I'm going to start on the poly draw tab and I want to select the circle grid and I'm going to select the block width and height of 12. If your graph paper cells are on, turn them off. I do like to have on the hide show autofill on closed patches. Now under the grid properties, I said we were going to do a circle grid. I would like you to set your rings to 6 and your spokes to 36. This will allow this block to be easily pieced using one of the Dresden ruler tools on the market. So I'm going to use the polyline tool and I'm going to start by creating the spoke that's going to uh, have a point at the upper center. And I'm going to double click from the spoke that starts at 5. And I'm going to go up to the second largest full circle and do a single click. And then I'm going to go over one spoke and up to the full circle and do a single click. Go over one spoke and down one circle for the next one. And then down to the bottom of the uh, circle that you can see and then back to the beginning and double click. So then I'm going to uh, select it with the pick tool and I'm going to clone and rotate it twice. And the reason I rotate it two times is, is each rotation will move it one spoke. And since this uh, particular patch takes two spokes, it needs two clicks in for the rotation. So then I'm going to um, select both of those. So I'm just going to drag a box over both, clone, and rotate it four times. And then I'm going to select all of them, clone, and rotate it eight times. And if I didn't get it enough, I can just add one more rotation before putting it in place. And then I'm going to select everything again, and I'm going to clone, and I'm going to flip it left to right. And I do have two patches that are going to be right on top of each other. So I'm going to use my pick tool, select one of them, and select delete. So this is going to be the base layer. Now I'm going to go to the applique tab. So I'm going to start by selecting the ellipse tool. And I'm going to select the uh, filled shape, so it would be the first option under the ellipse properties. And let me zoom in a bit because I want to create an oval. And I'm just sort of going to eyeball that. And now let me zoom out. And that is going to be uh, basically the, the head or the body of the turkey. So then I'm going to use the shape and I'm going to zoom in and use the circle to create the eyes. And so I was having trouble doing a smaller circle, so I'm just going to do a bigger one. And then I can use the pick tool and I can select that and just shrink it. And so that will be for the pupils for the eye. So once I've got one set one eye done, I'm going to select it with the pick tool, clone, flip left to right, and then I have the second set of eyes for my turkey. 
Then I'm going to use the Shapes tool and I'm going to take the diamond and create the next section. And then I'm going to use the petal and draw that. And I'm going to go ahead and flip that one left to right again. And I am going to uh, drag the nodes that are in the center to make that just a little bit uh, longer. And if I want to rotate it, I'm going to use the control key and click on the center. Let me try that again with the pick tool so I can get the arrows at the top. And I'm going to reposition that a bit. And then I'm going to take that diamond and bring it to the front. So now I'm going to uh, zoom out. And I'll do that by doing a fit to work table. And I'm going to put some legs on my turkey. And to do that, I'm going to use the draw tool. And I'm going to select the brush stroke. And I'm going to just draw a sort of straight line. And I'm going to bring the minimum width down to 0 and the boldness down to 1. And that's going to give it a nice skinny leg. Now let me zoom in. So I'm going to select Convert to Patch. And I'm going to draw another one. So I'm going to select the brush stroke again. And I'm going to draw the, uh, the foot. And again, I'm going to bring that width down to 0 and the boldness down to 1. And if I do want to make it longer, now is the time. So once I have that done, I'm going to uh, convert that to patch. And then I'm going to select it with the pick tool. And I'm going to clone. And I'll flip that one left to right. So that will give me another toe for my turkey. And I will do another clone. And for this one, I'm going to use the Control or Command key. Select the center to engage the Rotate button. And then I can move that. Now I'm going to go ahead and select um, the leg. And I'm going to bring that to the front. So I can now uh, select Fit to Work Table. And I'm going to select all of those and then just move that down a bit. And then I can select all of it and do a clone, flip left to right, and I've got the second set of legs. I'm going to select all of the legs and select Send to Back. And I think I went back to my oval because I forgot to select Convert to Patch. So now I've got my turkey, the rest of my turkey done. And I'm going to go to the Color tab. And once I have him colored, I'm going to go ahead and add to the project sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, and to check out my online training programs, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.